Hey everyone, this is Mark Snyder with you again from the Law Offices of Mark G. Snyder and today we've got a short video for you but it's important. We're going to talk about the difference between supervised probation and unsupervised probation. For many of you it might be obvious but we're going to talk about it real quick and just point out the important differences. Now in supervised probation it is of course how it sounds. Your probation period is going to be supervised. It's going to be supervised by a probation officer also known as a probation agent. Each probation period is different but for the most part if you're on supervised probation you're going to be required to check in on a regular basis with your probation officer or PO. Each time you go see your probation officer, they're going to see how you're doing, they're going to check on your employment requirements, if you were required to get a job, how that process is going, if you have a job, how you're doing at work, and various other things. Pretty much making sure you're staying in line with the court's requirements. Now, if you have some type of case that has some connection to alcohol or drug abuse, you might be required to continue in certain treatment programs and you might even be tested, either your analysis or other types of testing each time you see your probation officer. But the important thing to remember is with supervised probation, you are going to be required to check in and adhere to certain strict requirements, otherwise known as rules. If you violate any of these requirements, it's very likely that your probation officer will let the judge know who put you on probation, and you could very well be headed towards a violation of probation hearing. That's another video, but pretty much all that is, is that you're going to have to go in front of the judge and let the court know why you violated whatever area of your probation you violated. Now, the other side of the coin here is unsupervised probation, and that's pretty simple. For the period you're placed on probation, you have to stay out of trouble. You don't need to request any type of special circumstances. You don't have to see anybody. You really don't have to do anything except make sure you don't get in any more trouble. If you stay out of trouble, whether you're on supervised or unsupervised probation, at the end of your probationary period, you will be released from probation and you can go on with your life and hopefully have a bright future. So that's the difference between probation supervised or probation unsupervised. This is Mark Snyder from the Law Offices of Mark G. Snyder reminding you if you have any questions about probation or anything else having to do with personal injury or criminal law, give us a call anytime at 410-656-9LAW, which is 9529, 656-9529. Or you can visit us on the web at www.MarkSnyderLaw.com. Until we see you again, thanks for listening. Have a great day.